On behalf of former sparring partner Joe Egan, Tyson sent a message to John Fury, warning that the Irishman is hunting a fight with Tyson's dad. He even dragged actor Russell Crowe into the row for some reason. This beef goes back to when Egan publicly challenged John Fury to a Saudi clash between retired veterans, but John dismissed the idea outright. Now Tyson inserts himself into the conflict by putting Fury on notice. His friend is training for a grudge match, and you can't avoid him forever. I'll break down this odd call-out, Egan's history with Iron Mike, whether this fight ever actually happens, and why Tyson name-dropped Gladiator star Russell Crowe of all people. When old-school heavyweights start mixing it up, things get wild fast. So let's see why my man Joe Egan is so infuriated with Big John. First, let's discuss Egan's history with Tyson. So just who is Joe Egan and why does Tyson hold him in such high esteem? During Mike's intimidating peak, Egan gained notoriety as his sparring partner who never backed down. Tyson dubbed the national Irish champion the toughest white man on the planet. Despite only going three, one as a professional, Egan gave Iron Mike pure punishment in training, often knocking out Mike's teeth while sharpening his attack for title defenses. Tyson credits Egan for toughening his chin and says he will go through marathon sessions. So, while winless against Tyson in sparring, Egan held his own as an elite brawler. Their mutual love for combat forged an unbreakable friendship that is still evident decades later. Which brings us to, Egan recently announced his comeback plans included one dream fight, a Saudi showdown with none other than Tyson Fury's dad, John Fury. In a Twitter video, Egan cited their mutual warrior spirits. John Fury is my friend and a good fighting man, same as myself. I think the two of us would have a great boxing match. Out in Saudi Arabia, let's show them YouTubers and Saudi royals how two old warriors can perform. While winless since 1985, the 60-year-old Egan believes he has one last vintage performance left to humble Big John. He invoked their shared gladiator mentality as the reason this fight makes sense. But John Fury quickly shut down the challenge, showing no interest in facing someone so closely linked to his family. Yet that didn't stop things from escalating further. Now how did boxing legend Iron Mike, Mike Tyson, get involved in this conflict? Since John dismissed his challenge outright, Egan turned to old friend Mike Tyson to apply pressure on his behalf. In a Twitter video, Tyson told Fury directly, John Fury, you've got my friend Joe Egan really mad at you, saying you wanted to fight me. He's coming for you, John Fury, for my honor. While Tyson clarified visa restrictions prevent him from attending the fight overseas, he took Egan's side 100% while warning the Fury patriarch to expect hostile pursuit. The pride and respect Tyson still carries suggests Big John may need eyes in the back of his head if this grudge escalates. Okay, now that we understand Mike Tyson's involvement in this bout, let's discuss why they are dragging Russell Crowe into all of this. Beyond demanding satisfaction for his friend, Tyson also references allegations from Egan that John Fury called actor Russell Crowe a fraud. This raises several questions. Why is the Academy Award winner brought up here? Has John Fury been ranting about the star of Gladiator for some reason? Is Russell Crowe a secret boxing fan tangled in obscure British heavyweight politics? Your guess is as good as mine. But one certainty is that Mike Tyson inserting famous figures into this callout adds a bizarro new wrinkle to an already odd conflict. So, bottom line, is this fight actually happening? Or is this just a rumor that was created to hype fans for something? While Tyson's intimidating voice revs up chaos for this hypothetical scrap, all parties likely keep this rivalry confined to the verbal realm. As much fun as imagining these aging fighters unleashing their anger in the ring, the pragmatism underlining their friendship probably wins out. Each warrior recognizes lingering glory between contemporary legends already well secured. Does Joe Egan dropping Tyson's name give Big John extra motivation for his next parody video? We shall see. But an actual sanctioned meeting of the minds seems a bridge too far. Right now, instead of a fight between Joe Egan and John Fury, we want to see whether Tyson Fury will return from his injuries to face Usyk in their high-intensity matchup. Last month, Fury suffered a bad cut in sparring that postponed his title unification bout against Oleksandr Usyk. Now WBC president Mauricio Suleiman reveals reassuring updates direct from the Gypsy King himself. 
While visiting London, Mauricio Suleiman provided promising news regarding Fury's recovery. He recently spoke directly with Tyson and passed along this update. I spoke to Tyson a couple days ago. He's fine. He's ready to continue. And it's going to be one of the best events in boxing history on May 18th. Considering the mental frustration complementing Fury's physical setback, it's reassuring to hear he sounds motivated to push forward. Suleiman confirms the Gypsy King continues sharpening his tools, locked in for the new fight date. After five years of trying to organize this undisputed coronation, Fury refuses, letting a small speed bump derail his dreams. That mindset and resilience serve him well in moving past this disappointment. When Fury's facial laceration leaked, it's understandable that Usyk's camp reacted bitterly as their megafight hopes got put on hold. Both sides endured tremendous sacrifices, preparing before the rug got pulled at the last minute. Raw emotions overflowed, as Usyk promoter Alexander Krasiuk called the cut a big disappointment. But as Suleiman notes, their anger stemmed from heated passion and eagerness reaching a crescendo. Cooler heads realize injuries happen and the show will go on. This serves more as a testament to how badly each fighter wants this crown. Now, to ensure any questionable referee judgments get properly scrutinized, the WBC is considering implementing their replay system for the first time in a heavyweight unification. Suleiman said the technology primarily reviews fight-altering situations to correct controversies or mistakes. For a fight of this magnitude, they want to utilize every resource, ensuring the rightful winner gets his hand raised. Considering split decisions and unpopular scorecards continue plaguing mega fights, expanded replay protection provides peace of mind. With so much history on the line, increased layers of certainty give both warriors confidence merits will decide this iconic showdown. So even though Yusik continues sharpening his tools for the new fight date, I expect Tyson Fury to specifically channel his irritation over the setback into a dominant showing. Getting so close yet denying his spectacle only increased the Gypsy King's hunger. After years of pursuing undisputed glory, Fury won't allow another stumbling block to stop him from his dream fight against Anthony Joshua, who also has a massive challenge in front of him in the form of Francis Nanganu, an MMA fighter who turned into a boxer and gave Tyson Fury one of his toughest fights ever. So that's my breakdown on Joe Egan's call-out of John Fury courtesy of boxing icon Mike Tyson. While we almost certainly won't see this fight materialize, it spotlights fascinating bonds and rivalries between old-school boxing hardmen. Let me know your thoughts on this bizarre challenge. Could Iron Mike's intimidating words compel Big John to accept Egan's dare? Or does this beef stay confined to supposed fantasy matchups? Love to hear your take. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting boxing news and insider tea. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to get timely updates about our announcements and uploads. Till then, see ya!